from London, three three minute rounds in the amateur bantamweight weight division. Your referee in charge, Mr. Harry Selby. Back the way action here now, Jonah Baker from Apex Army MMA in the blue corner. His opponent, Sam Castillo from New Wave Academy in the red. Oh, very nice straight right. There's the clinch from Sam. So we're warming up backstage. Worked a lot of head pressure and then framing on the face in this exact position. His coaches were telling him to use his head and frame with the arm to disengage. I'm Baker, I'm throwing that jab and that straight right again. Don't reach so much. Ooh, good leg. So I was looking for the knee close reins up against the cage, looking to circle to the outside position. There's that head pressure he worked on. He's got the overhook at this point in time. He uses the knees to damage his opponent, also to aid his separation. There's, as you alluded to here, he ate a heavy right hand straight down the pipe. He's got to be careful in this disengagement. Might have gone a little bit low. When you're throwing knees in like that, there tends to be a few that end up going right down the pipe. Jonah Baker, get some time to recover here from the low blow. Inadvertent, of course, but I would imagine Sam's gonna get a little warning from the referee to make sure that they go clean to the bread basket. Casillo, one and one. Baker, one and oh. And we're back underway. The outside of Baker's leg already starting to show damage from only, what, two leg kicks that have landed? Baker's looking for those straight Ooh. shots. That rocked in right hand. The Castillo rushed in, but nice takedown defense there. Kept the hips. And again, he's still with the overhand right. He's ducking his head as he's throwing that right. They had a real success when he threw straight shots down the pipe and through the guard. Nice kick, takes advantage of that, fires to the knee. Yeah, but when he rushed in, he was throwing from his head instead of throwing straight cross. Castile's hands were wide, and if he would have went straight down the pipe, he could have actually landed something. Ooh. Ooh, a little cut there on the left side of the face of Baker. That's right on the brow. So this cut impairs his vision. The cage side doctor here could potentially stop it. Ah, oh, it's just a flash forward. It's fine. Okay, maybe that is a little bit bigger than I thought. It all depends, though, on what Baker says. If he says, I can see, oh, yeah. he continues. If he says, I can't see. Ah, look at the face there yeah, of yeah, the doctor. The, the, the doctor doesn't look too like he's looking at going, yeah. Let's see what it looks like when he takes. Yeah. It's not too bad, but the problem is now that's a target for, for Castillo. Yep. If he starts to target that and opens that up, I mean, but that's an affordance for him to win as well, to open that cut up and force a doctor stoppage. Exactly. But also, it's got the opportunity. It's not bad because it will go down the eyebrow. And as he's, like, playing with it. Oh, no. That, that, that's it. Oh, it's been waved off here. Stoppage due to a doctor. Cut over the left eyebrow of Jonah Baker. Sam Castillo wins via doctor stoppage. <laughs> Gotta be bittersweet winning a fight there from the cut. Yeah, I mean, it, that's tough. I, I understand that A, these are amateur fighters, so their safety is of utmost concern. In fact, it's the only concern that anyone should have. Uh, but you always hate to see something like that when the fight was actually fun and exciting 
for it to get ended that quick due to that cut. Well, we hand it over to our official MC, Mr. Lee Thompson, to make it official. Five Star Championship 25. Brought to you by Nova Bell. This fight was brought to you by Nova Bell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this contest was brought to a close by TKO and Dr. Stoppage. Two minutes and six seconds into round number one. Let's hear it for your winner in the red corner, Sam Castillo.